No stranger to headlines, Apple is at it again. This time, it's for the purchase of a small film company. So joining us now to discuss what we know about the purchase, Sasha Segan. He's the lead analyst at PCMag.com. So, Sasha, it's been confirmed Apple bought a Zurich, Switzerland-based startup called FaceShift. So, so what do we know about the company? What does it do? Well, what FaceShift does right now is uh, they enhance motion capture for movies. And for instance, they worked with the folks. It's, they worked with the folks uh, doing the new Star Wars film, uh, helping to make the facial expressions on the CGI characters more realistic. Wow. So, uh, as you're seeing in this video right here, it basically takes your own facial movements and puts it into like a cartoon type graphics so it's so it's basically in some ways facial recognition so this is an interesting move here yeah i mean apple uh, some say and maybe you're one of them that they, they tend to enter markets late why do you think apple does this i mean they're not they're not pioneering this but they're buying a company that does it and they're maybe a little behind the game right or wrong Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Apple's M.O. is to have other companies kind of prove the market and beta test the market and then come into a market a little bit later with what Apple sees is a complete consumer solution. And we saw that with the iPod and MP3 players, the iPhone and smartphones, the iPad and tablets. And we're going to see Apple, for instance, come into cars uh, a couple of years later than some of their competitors, hopefully with what they see as a complete consumer solution. So we're seeing that play out here with augmented and virtual reality and Apple assembling a portfolio of companies and IP uh, to make what they hope will be an AR VR solution that'll blow Samsung, Facebook, Google out of the water. All right. So, so that, that kind of gets us to our next question here. I mean, you talk about some of the reasons why Apple would do this. So what ultimately do you think is the end game for Apple with acquisitions like this? Well, I don't think they're buying face shift to be able to turn you into Chewbacca. Um, I think that if they have a feature on FaceTime to turn people into Chewbacca, it'll be a lot of fun, but it's not the central issue here. Um, they're really looking at facial recognition and object recognition, having computers, uh, whether they're in cars or in your Apple TV in the living room or in your iPhone, be able to recognize the world around them and analyze those people or those objects uh, for either gesture-based interfaces or artificially intelligent experiences. All right, so, so that speaks to the idea of why facial recognition, why object recognition. So here's a question then. Is it going to propel Apple further into perhaps the gaming space, set them up for perhaps a long-awaited Apple TV integration? I, I, what do you think the plans might be there with regard to how it fits into the ecosystem? Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that because they already, a little while ago, bought one of the companies uh, that was responsible for the Microsoft Connect which is, of course, a uh, living room gaming play. They've talked about the Apple TV having a gaming role in the living room, and they're just starting out with that with some uh, remote control-based games right now. Um, so I definitely think uh, living room gaming is on Apple's agenda. They just haven't, at this point, gotten to uh, the consumer product that they feel is going to blow things away. All right, so it sounds like Apple's got its sights set on all kinds of different things. Face shift is just the next stage in the game. Sasha Segan, thank you so much for joining us here. That's Sasha Segan, the lead analyst over at PCMag.com. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.